I'm Dr. Kim Allen Williams, and I'm currently the president of the American College of Cardiology and chief of cardiology at Rush University in Chicago. Uh, I am a plant-based nutrition cardiologist. Uh, there are a handful of us and a growing number um, as people recognize that there's enough data out there to suggest that uh, heart disease is largely uh, an epidem epidemic that is due to food and uh, the underpinning risk factors such as diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, they also are largely due to food. And to that extent, uh, they should be preventable if we change the habits uh, and the lifestyle of the, of the people who are suffering with them and the people who are at risk to develop them. I would exclude people who have adult congenital heart disease that, I, that uh, come to our uh, place, anyone who's born with uh, a heart problem, uh, that that you know due to genetics or the interuterine development hard to blame that on diet but the degenerative diseases such as heart attack uh, stroke uh, kidney failure hardening of the arteries all of the common manifestations of cardiovascular disease uh, they really are uh, due to lifestyle issues that uh, are correctable so it's really clear that the chair is the new cigarette and we have an epi epidemic of heart disease in the middle of an epidemic of sedentary lifestyle. So I don't want to minimize the effect of exercise. However, there is an exercise prescription that one has to actually uh, sort of wrestle with. That is, we find increasing heart disease in people who over-exercise. What we really don't have is good prospective trials of sort of a two-by-two two format. Bad diet, good diet, uh, no exercise, moderate exercise and see which group does worse. My suspicion is that, you know, based on clinical experience, not randomized trials, uh, which would be better, uh, is that diet probably is, is the more important of the two just because uh, we see a lot of um, uh, exercising, working out, particularly basketball players and football players have had an athletic life uh, and then they die in their 50s uh, because the diet has been so bad. You know, the diet that they're actually using to build up muscle actually works for that purpose, but it also develops plaque. Uh, and if there's not something to make that go in the opposite direction when they quit playing, they typically gain weight, the blood pressure's up, uh, and then they have a bad, bad outcome. There actually had been several different pieces that uh, were put together, changing my own lifestyle in terms of how much tennis I was playing, going down from you know, twice a day to you know, once or twice a week. Uh, at the same time uh, being busier at work um, and having um, sort of a chicken and fish, low fat, but high cholesterol diet, not understanding that it was a high cholesterol diet as most people don't. Uh, they just need to you know, look up the word, Google the words cholesterol content of food and then it would actually make, all, make perfect sense. Um, at the same time that I had uh, had a, a good patient experience of someone whose nuclear scan uh, in my lab had actually improved dramatically uh, with the Ornish diet. Um, that all came to fruition about the time that I went to the American College of Cardiology meeting in 2003, had my lipids tested, as I normally would do, but I think I had skipped a year or two. Uh, had no idea that my LDL, which was usually in the 110 range, had actually gone up to 170. Didn't actually believe it. I thought it was a plot uh, by a statin company to make me take a drug. So I went to their competitor and it was 169. And so I, so I fasted the rest of the day and came back to the third company the next morning. It was still 169. Um, so what I, what I uh, learned <clears throat> over that night is that uh, my you know, salmon and chicken breast, no skin, not fried uh, uh, diet really was replete with uh, cholesterol. And we didn't have all the information that we have about it now, about hypercholesterolemia uh, and hyper responders to ingested cholesterol. And so everyone, uh, there's enough studies saying, you know, if you're, that cholesterol really doesn't matter. Well, that's actually true. Cholesterol does not go up very much if you're eating a lot of cholesterol. If you're a person who's eating a relatively small amount of cholesterol, it matters a lot. And it turns out that it's sort of a, uh, you know, the curve goes up and then uh, asymptotes. And so what we would say is that um, diet is extremely important uh, for, for those of us who are watching the cholesterol or have elevated cholesterol. There are some people, and I may be one of them, who have, a, you know, a dysfunction gene that raises the LDL cholesterol. 
Uh, in which case, if diet didn't work, then I would definitely need drugs. I would need to get back on the exercise program. And we have new drugs uh, specifically for, the, for these people, uh, the PCSK9 inhibitors. So, but you know, the fact that the vegan diet works so well for me uh, is really great. Uh, so my LDL went down from 170 to about 90.